Hey 202 fans, um, we're back here with WTF202, a um, couple of new mods, new uh, ECU, it's a uh, Microtech um, LT12, and uh, the biggest thing that we've done now is we've gone sequential ignition and sequential injection. Look at those babies there, so we've got, um, those are Chevy Yukon coils, the D585 AC Delco unit. Um, sometimes called the LS2 coil, but it's um, a little bit different. They were used on LS2 motors, but um, it's more the truck coil. So we've got six of those babies in there. Um, and we had a bit of issue trying to get it all running and stuff. The wiring diagrams that Microtech provided were completely wrong. Not very happy about that. Um, and running all that is the um, sequential distributor system that I've made. So it's a dual hall effect system. It's got six pulses for each cylinder and then a home pulse that comes around um, once every two crank rotations. So I'll uh, fire it up and um, we'll have a look. The fueling's not quite right on it yet. Um, still a little bit rich in places. I haven't been for a drive yet. I just sort of rolled it out of the garage to get some light on it and um, do some video for you guys. Alright, here we go. And it is idling a little bit high at the moment. Um, I haven't finished the auxiliary air valve yet, so we've just basically got um, the hose that runs the auxiliary air just sort of sitting out here, but I put my finger over it drops back down to about where it should be. Um, the valve's going to sit up inside the, uh, behind the firewall here, so it's going to be all nice and neat. You won't see anything um, at all. There's probably a bit of mess in the bay. Wiring and crap. Like that bit there. Get rid of that spark plug that I was using to test stuff. But yeah, running pretty good. Running nice and smooth. Um, I'll give it a little bit of a rev for you. Certainly, uh, I think the the revs pick up a lot quicker, the idle's a lot smoother, even though it has a, a pretty big cam in it. Um, the sequential injection and the multi coil seems to have tamed it down a fair bit. I do notice that it still has a little bit of problem with, um, with starting. Um, because these are a smart coil, um, the Microtech has a feature where it kicks up the dwell and to about uh, 40 or so microseconds during crank conditions just to uh, sort of counteract the low battery voltage that um, comes about when you're turning the engine over. Um, and what actually happens is that the coils, when they get above a certain um, spark duration, um, they uh, automatically dump the spark try and stop themselves from overheating and it sort of makes it fire at odd times so it can make starting a little bit difficult especially if the battery voltage is down a little bit so um, a couple little things to sort out like that um, and yeah otherwise it's, it's running pretty good um, also still got a, a bit of an issue with the my uh, wideband sensors not interfacing correctly with the um, microtech for some reason it's giving me funny readings uh, so you always get a few little niggly problems like that when you do a major sort of parts upgrade. All right, so there we go. So hopefully get it on the dyno the um, well, next week if we can sort out all the problems and uh, see if we can kick uh, 500 horsepower in the nuts. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.